In the previous example, I showed you how to run two pies and have them communicate with each other, but there were limits. We could only run two pies. We ran one in studio, and we ran the other one on our mobile device. I'm going to show you how to use Connect to do the same thing, but this will give you a lot more flexibility on how you work things. So let's start up Connect. And let's take our pies, and we're just going to add them to Connect. And there's two ways you can do that. You can just take them and drag them in like this, or I could have clicked on New, gone to Pie, and browsed to where they were and added them this way. Either way works. doesn't matter which way you do it. And I want to show you how you can run both of these on the same screen. And in order to do that, you need to create a group. So I'm going to go to New, Group, and this creates a multi-view group. And I'm going to drag each of these into the group. And now what I can do is I can hit this button, and this will open things up in my browser and have both of them on the screen at the same time. Now these are the exact same pies that we were working with in the previous example, and they will work as is. I don't have to change anything. So if I move the living room slider, for example, you can see it's changing my light level in the living room over here. Now when you have things in multi-view like this, you can make a couple of changes. If you right click, you'll bring up this little control in the bottom. And if I hit the little gear icon, I can do some things. I can move some things around. I can resize these pies. So let's say I want to make the mobile the same size over here. Um, I can change the background color if I like. You have a couple of things you can do. Now this is quite useful if you would like to uh, just have everything on one screen while you try to debug things, right? It's no sense to have things running on your mobile and always have to reload them on there and deal with plugging things in. Uh, it just might not be convenient for you. So this is a lot easier to work with when you want to have everything just on one screen while you test things out. But another thing we can do is we can add a third pie in here, which you can't do if you're not using Connect. So let's say I want to add in a third one here. So I've got two experiences already. I've got one for my tablet, which would be, say, a wall control. I've got one for mobile. I'm going to drag this new pie, which is a desktop experience, into the multi-view group. Now when I run multi-view, I'm going to have all three on one screen. And once again, I can move things around. So let's move the master control up here. And let's say we'll move the tablet experience down here and the mobile down here and resize them too, just so everything fits. Now, things are still working. Living room adjusts the, the light over here. I would also like to see it update in this line over here. Now, this pie hasn't been configured yet to do that, but this is a little bit of a short work. We can make this work. So let's go into ProtoPie here, and I already have it open in this pie right here. And you can see all of my smart devices here are all, all instances of one of three components. The light row in particular, that's the one we've been working with for our lights. We're going to make all of our changes in here. Now, it, it's already set up to detect changes in brightness. And you can see if I go back to the scene here, all of these have overrides. So the light row over here, this has its initial bright, brightness set to 50. The kitchen one has it set to 100. Um, the, uh, the dining room is set to zero, etc. And if I preview this, you're going to see a couple of things happen here. The, uh, the status over here changes to show the light level, and the icon changes its color. And it's somewhere in between this dark blue and this bright yellow, depending on the status of the light. So inside my component, let's add some receives to receive the same messages that our tablet experience was receiving. I'm going to add the receive, and remember to choose the ProtoPie Studio channel. And the first message that we would received was brightness. And remember, we had to assign it to a variable. Now, I already have a brightness variable, and I'm going to choose it for now, but you're going to see in a second why we don't want to do this. And in fact, I'm just going to save this. Now, whenever you have pies open in both Studio and Connect at the same time, you have a live link in here. And any changes you make within Studio when you save them, that will update your multi-view here. Um, so now you're going to see all of my lights, by the way, now show 50%. And if I move my slider left and right, all of my lights are adjusting at the same time. I only want it to, to adjust the living room one. So I've introduced a bug with how I've done things here. Instead of taking this brightness value and directly setting it to the brightness, remember that I have a component here that's used several times. It's going to assign that brightness value to all of these components. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to assign this to a temporary variable that I'm not going to do anything with unless the room variable matches what I have in this device name field over here. So I'm going to make a new variable, and let's call this new brightness. It's a number, that's fine. 
and this receive I'm going to assign this to new brightness and now if I save this and I go back to the multi view we're, we're going to see that absolutely nothing happens when I move my slider back in here which is what we expect because we're not doing anything with that new brightness variable yet now let's add our second receive let's rename this first of all we'll call this brightness from studio and I'm going to add the second receive for the room message from studio room again we need to assign this to a variable let's make one over here we'll call it room remember it has to be text and we'll go assign that to room receive room from studio now I'd like to check if the value passed in from the room message matches the text that's in this device name and you can see if I look over here we've got this customized for each of the copies of the of the component so if it matches and I'm expecting one of either living room front door or not not front door uh, the ones I have in my mobile here I'm expecting one of either living room dining room bedroom or kitchen it can be one of these four because all four of these are instances of the component that send the brightness and room messages so I'm going to add a condition here condition if room equals and I'm going to use a formula here and I'm going to grab the text property of the device name text layer device name dot text I'm going to say okay to that and if these two match then I'm going to take the value of I'm going to take the value of new brightness and assign it to my brightness variable so brightness only gets updated when the room name also matches what's been put into this text field and let's see if this works and we'll go back to our multi view and I'm gonna move the living room slider back and forth and you can see the living room slider it is updating as we do this to match the value of my slider I'm seeing the icon color change and I'm seeing the value change over here in the status column and if I go all the way to zero it shows as off but we've introduced a little bit of a bug notice how bedroom and dining room both say 50 percent if I go back to protopi studio and I preview this bedroom should be at 25 percent bathroom should be off dining room should be off kitchen should be at 100 percent but when I see this in my multi view let's reset this you're going to see bedroom, dining room, kitchen, and living room all show 50%. Now, why is that? When you run into problems like this, especially when you're using send and receive, a handy feature inside Protopie Connect is his ability to see the messages coming through. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to clear this, and then I'm going to refresh this. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to interact with it. Now, you're going to see I've got messages coming in, and they're coming in from all four copies of the mobile uh, in the mobile app these light sliders there's four copies of the of this light slider component and they're all sending their brightness and room because the slider width is changing when things start when things start I'm looking at the value of brightness which if you recall was set as an override I'm scaling the slider which then triggers this detect because the slider width is changing and it's gonna send these messages over to over through studio and then what's happening inside studio all of these get sent through to all of the pies that are in here and my desktop pie is set to respond to those in this light row component so all of the light rows here are receiving all these messages and even though we put in code in here to only do something when the name matches the uh, the name that's been put in here we're sending the name four times so if we go back in here you can see I get room and brightness with living room I get room and brightness with dining room room and brightness with bedroom room and brightness with kitchen at some point those four copies that are in this list here are receiving and are going to respond to that what I want to do is I want to stop all of these from being sent at once so we're going to make a change in the mobile one here instead of having our sends in the slider width we're actually going to instead send this when we detect changes in brightness and the reason why this won't happen when it starts is brightness is preset and it's not changing so the override is set to whatever the override is set at 
and protopy won't detect that value as changing. It's the initial value of it that's in the override. So it's only going to send these messages when that value of brightness changes subsequently. So let's add a trigger. We'll do a detect of brightness. So let's rename this detect brightness. And I'm going to move these sends into that detect. And if I save this, and let's go back to our multi view. Now we have our bedroom at 25%, dining room and entrance are completely off, kitchen is at 100%, living room is at 50%, exactly what we'd expect, and it matches what we see in our Smart Light mobile app. And if I move living room back and forth, we're getting just living room changing. That's what's happening over here. And if I move any of these other four, we should see changes in our master control as well. So dining room, I'm going to move left and right, and we see that changing. Bedroom, we see that changing. Kitchen, we see that changing. Now we don't see changes in our in our tablet app because we haven't done anything in the tablet app to accommodate for anything other than living room. But we could go into the tablet one and adding conditions for living room, kitchen, etc. We could do that, but I'm not going to bother doing that. You guys can do that on your own. That'll be your own homework. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to test this as if it were the real thing. I would like my tablet experience to be running on my tablet. I would like my mobile experience to be running on my mobile, and I'd like my master control to be running on the desktop. So here is how we can do that. So the desktop, I'm going to start in the browser. That's this web browser option, third icon. Okay, now I've got my master control here. Now with my tablet, I want this running on an actual tablet. So I'm going to expose this QR code. Then I'll start the ProtoPy player app on my tablet and scan this QR code. That's now going to run this Pi on my tablet through Connect. And similarly, I'm going to do the same thing with mobile. I'll expose this QR code, start the ProtoPy player app on my mobile, scan this QR code on my mobile, and that means I'm going to have three different Pis running on three different screens, all talking to each other through Connect. Now when I make a change on my phone, let's say I want to change the living room light, I'm making an actual change with my phone, with my finger, and it's changing the living room light level and it's being received by our master control. And you can see when I adjust the living room, we're seeing the living room light level change on the tablet as well. There you go. This is how you use Connect to connect with more than just two Pies, and it shows the flexibility of how you can run them. You can run them all on one screen using MultiView, or you can have them run on individual devices to really simulate the real thing.